afternoon. Yes, it's a day that I've been running around doing errands. Haven't really done a lot of cleaning yet today because I slept in. I've been so busy the last couple weeks working, going to get tires on my car, which took three times, and I finally got them on there, and then I got it aligned, even though I'm going to have to have my husband check it because it doesn't feel like it's aligned, and I'm pretty much over dealing with that and a few other things too. So I decided because I'm going to be making liver tonight and I saw an emerald, uh, essence of Emerald Lagasse that I could, which I'm going to get that out now, that I could soak my liver, my beef liver, in uh, wine, red wine, and red blend's the best. And the other day when I was doing a couple errands after I got my teeth cleaned, I stopped by the mall and a place I used to work, they had this on sale for $25. And this wine there is usually $20, even though you can get this wine now for two for $10, but that was the one place I worked. But this is the Blood Red Blend, and I had sampled the Cabernet. So this is the first one I had, and I do remember liking it. And then the two wine glasses, they usually charge like $16 for those. So you got to think. I basically got this for all three of these for under ten dollars because it was almost thirty with tax. So I've been mainly doing liquor, and I didn't tell my husband because I've already told him what I want. I'm definitely going to go by there after Christmas. There's a few places I'm going to go by after Christmas. I have to get me and my daughter some clothes. I'm going to check out the gift sets. I'm going to uh. I'm trying to see where I can put this bow. Probably give it to my other daughter. My younger daughter. I'm going to see if there's any more because it came with two glasses and I only have one glass left. I still have never gotten to Elusive Grape if you've watched my other videos. And these are pretty cool because they're the Walking Dead glasses. So I'm really glad of those. I'm going to use this one when I try it. Rinse it out a little. So now I have three glasses because I do still have this one from when I did this promo. Of wine. You have to check that video out. And we are in the process of trying to move in the next couple years, maybe a year, depends. I feel like I'm running out of room around here. But anyways, um, I haven't opened it yet, so I'm going to open it and chit chat a little bit because I wanted to unpackage it. This is the Blood Red. And these are the Living Apps. And this is from 2015. And this was the one, I got to get my wine opener. This was the one that I first tried out of these. And it's pretty good. I do remember that. I liked it. So this will probably be my only video this week. I will not be doing more videos probably until next week or the following. It's going to start getting really busy for me. And most of the things I'm doing I've already reviewed on my channel anyway. There will be uh, next weekend some wine. Perhaps, because there's this one company, sometimes I don't get the wine, but like 90% of the time I do, that I will be doing because I um, do kombucha and I do um, two different wines, but like I said, I believe I'm bringing those home, but it depends. And then after that, after next week, I will probably be doing more because it's the week before Christmas break. I'm going to go put this back by my supplies so I don't forget it. Even though I don't need it this weekend, I'm going to be doing the Glen Levitt Founders Reserve, which I've done a video on as well. And also this basket, which I'm going to reuse. I don't know what I'm going to put in it yet. My daughter likes baskets, so I might put like, you know, a couple. Because I've gotten most of her stuff except the gift cards for both of them, really. But I might put just little dollar, dollar store items in this. It also has the Lent, uh, Lindor. Candies, and I'm not sure what kind though. I'm not really sure what the orange ones are. I think it looks like, I don't know, you can't tell. But that's came with it two candies, two glasses, and a bottle of wine for $25. I mean, after Christmas, it's going to be a good deal to check because I'm going to keep that decoration there. Because, I mean, there's some of them I like in there but I don't really like the wines and they have things like ocean sceneries and ocean knickknacks which my bathroom is an ocean like ocean sceneries like starfish mermaids 
So I am going to check that, and I'm definitely checking Yankee Candle afterwards. I did get a good deal on that. My husband usually gets some, and then after Christmas we get some. So let me go put all this up while I'm letting my wine uh, breathe. But you do want to let it breathe, and I usually let it breathe longer than that. And I'm also going to go ahead and let my liver soak in it as well. I'm not going to use much of it, though, because that is my last wine until next weekend, unless I can get to... Um, the place where those wines are two for ten, because I really would like to do that. Oh, I'm going to put this in my utility room. <sighs> Be right back. so like we're all so outgrowing this house because it's so don't get me wrong it can technically be a three bedroom house but right now the utility room did used to be a bedroom and it has a closet in there but it has the hot water heater and the washer and the dryer and the water softener and then most a majority of my tutoring and promo stuff so it's kind of like well I'd be glad when I can get an office which like I said in a couple years um, I would like to have at least three bedrooms and two baths just because of me and my daughters or daughter right now, but who knows what's going to happen with my older daughter because that's, anyways, that's a different story that I don't want to get into right now. But um, I just really don't, I just really don't have room anymore. And I have the air handler for my air condition and my closet and yeah like I said this summer will be 20 years I've been here and it used to not be so much of a problem but it's definitely feeling like a problem the last couple years it's a great area great house it can technically be three bedrooms we are probably gonna try to make it at least put a vent in there for it to be able to be three bedrooms because it has the closet people would just have to move it because it's pretty back good backyard but anyway this is a review and chit chat so all right, while I'm still waiting for this to open up, I'm going to go ahead and put my liver. We like liver and onions. Well, I should say me and my husband do. My younger daughter doesn't like it. She usually just eats the sides and something else. Liver is really good for you, though. And I was really shocked that, I mean, I know you can cook a lot. I'm sorry you cannot see me, but I'm getting the liver prepared. I know you cannot, um, or I know you can cook with red wine and use... It a lot in cooking and it's better to use than the actual regular wine because you can drink it but now I have to get that up hold on just a second something on the floor but uh I never really realized I could soak it in there like I said I don't want to use a lot I'm going to wash it a little bit best I can. It's such flimsy meat, but it's so good for you. It doesn't take too long to cook. There is different ways. Um, he did cook it kind of different that day, but I didn't really get it because I've been so busy. I just know that I can soak it for a few hours in red wine, and I usually soak it in milk, which will work if you don't have red wine. But I'm just really curious to see. Just gonna cover the top of it. All right. That probably took about. I would think that's enough. It looks like blood, but it's red wine because I got all the blood off of it. I would think that's enough. I'm gonna let it soak. It's actually gonna end up soaking more than two hours. So I think that's plenty. We finally had our last of our Thanksgiving leftovers last night. There is still some turkey meat, but we're going to give it to our American Bulldog Karma because we're kind of turkeyed out. I am going to try to get a turkey breast, though, next week when I grocery shop because my husband and I want to try this cranberry turkey that uh, Emil Lagasse was doing last week. Okay, so this is aired out enough, I believe. 
I'm already almost 10 minutes in this video. It's not really just about wine, but it's to update you. So this is the Walking Dead, and they call it the Blood Red Blend. I do remember Cabernet and Merlot were in it, but I do not remember the third one. That happens a lot. That's why I kind of wish they to told you in the back. And it just tells you about <coughs> The Walking Dead on the back. So, let's see. You can definitely smell the cab that I had had prior of this. That's in it. Don't know if it's Petite Syrah or not, or not know if I'm saying it right. This is the third one. But they said, I'm going to let that kind of air in the swirl on the bottom. Remember, you want to take the bottom and do that. And I, of course, rinsed it out with cold water. Did not wash it. I just kind of rinsed it. But it said uh, on Emily Grassi that Red Blend was the best to soak your beef in. So that's good to know. So I'm interested in that one. And I am going to make um, probably some homemade mashed potatoes. Put some gravy over the um, liver. And then we'll have some like beans. I know we're getting kind of low because I need to go grocery shopping. It's been a while and the food lasts a while and we had leftovers for a while from Thanksgiving. So let's see. I believe the cab was 2016, but now I do not remember. See, to me, the red blend is a little smoother than the cab. I like both of them. They're both a nice red wine. But this, to me, is a little smoother. And it's like that a lot with the blends. I definitely taste a little spice, it's not too overwhelming. It's taste and smell plum. Kind of an earthy, full body but medium, not the cab's definitely more of a full body one. It's gonna pair well with my dinner tonight. I think it's gonna be great and soaking in the liver. And this is the candy that came with the pack. It seems like it's just the regular milk chocolate lind chocolate candy. Chocolate and cheese is always great with wine, right? And I love the little glasses. I feel like I definitely got a good deal on this. Well, I definitely rec recommend the Walking Dead Red Blend. I definitely recommend trying to get a hold of these because I do believe they're a limited time thing. And you want to at least keep a bottle or two. I mean, even keep the bottle empty. It's kind of hard for me to keep the bottles open even though if I had more room, like left unopened, I mean, so you could get some time in them and see, you know, because wine's better as it goes. But there's just not enough room and... Like liquor, it's not hard for me to keep here, but wine, it's kind of hard because I cook with it, and once you open it, you've got to drink it within a couple of days. But anyways, I definitely recommend The Walking Dead. I have not tried anything but the Blood Red and the Cabernet. I do not like shards or white wines as much, but if I do get a chance to do those, I will review them on my channel. I hope you have a great day, and it's almost the weekend, so hang in there.